guess what we're doing? Beep, boop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, boop. First, check out my shirt. This is a shirt I got in support of a queer deaf organization. This is apparently the sign for queer with a rainbow in the middle. Although I kind of feel like it just looks like hands are groping me. So what we're doing today, I have three different used book subscription boxes and I am going to open them and we're going to talk about which ones we think are better, etc. We're going to do them in the order that they arrived. So first off, let's do... Here we got used books monthly. As you can see from the cute sticker on Crate Joy that gets four stars out of 68 reviews. Um, you can get it in two different options. There's a $9.99 option, which gets you two books, and an $11.99, which gets you four books. And the price does include shipping. They ship out on the 5th of every month. But if you subscribe after the 5th, they will send it to you within 10 business days. So whenever I ordered it on the 20th of December, mine arrived by the end of the week. Ugh. It's very green and yellow in there. And there's a piece of paper. According to this piece of paper, the genres that I picked were romance, action adventure, fantasy, mystery, LGBTQ, and paranormal. I said I love cozy mysteries, paranormal romance novels, and fantasy books with strong female characters. I prefer books written by women featuring women as the main character. They give you 12 options to choose from plus a blank box to write what you're into. So I got the four books box so that we can figure out what this is all about. We have Patricia Briggs' Moon Called, which I've actually not read. It's actually, I'm pretty sure that this is the, is this the first one in the series? And I love werewolf romance a lot, so it's weird that I haven't read it. Oh, it's spit. Oh, gosh. Trudy Canavan Thief's Magic, an epic new fantasy adventure begins. I've never heard of this book. This is an incredibly boring back cover. Forget what you know about the nature of magic. Um, it is a used library copy, which I cannot stand, but I'll live, I guess. This book is fat. <laughs> Miss Julia Lays Down the Law. To all the readers who turned the first Miss Julia book into a series, the 16th one is for you. I don't like reading books out of order. And lastly, Hell on Heels. The three all-new stories of sinfully sexy ambition by three different authors. Ugh. Every woman wants to make daddy proud, but what if daddy is the prince of darkness? This is a very ex-library book that's got, like, dropping shit. I love this because it says romance and then it just says hell. Hell. <laughs> Two ex-library books that I've never heard of, and then a book I have heard of and want to read, and then the 16th book in a series. Okay. Next one to arrive came in this really nice box, Bookcase Club. Let me tell you about this box. This one gets 5.5 stars on Crate Joy out of 359 reviews. It had the most reviews out of any of the boxes. For $14.99, you get two books, which includes shipping to my address. If not, it's $9.99 plus shipping. Um, I chose the Booking to Love option, which gives you two romance novels, and there's no further customization than that. Goodness, this is fancy. Check out all that tissue paper. Take pictures and share. Well, I'm taking video and sharing. In this box, we have Miss You, a novel by Kate Eberlin. This is a very pretty and colorful book, and it's a really nice copy of this book. Whoa. Is this new? I have never heard of this book. I think this is new adult because both of these kids are 18. Oh, over the course of the next 16 years. This kind of sounds boring to me. <laughs> Two random people meet and then life. The other one, I already see it. It's a Daniel Steele novel. Ugh. Danielle Steele, The Mistress. I've never read anything by Danielle Steele. It weirds me out when authors have their whole damn face on the back. Girl needs to do her eyebrows a little bit more. She needs to fire her makeup artist. The um, inside blurb is its own novel. I don't really have an interest in either of these books, to be honest with you. I'm much more interested in like paranormal romance and stuff. This is... 
last one we have is called Literary Dream Crate. This one gets 4.5 stars on Crate Joy and there's only 17 reviews. It is $9.99 a month which gets you two books and the price does include shipping. I chose the genre romance. There's two other options. There's YA and there's mystery thriller. One thing that annoyed me about this was that my order shipped on the 13th and I got a notice that I was going to be renewed like three days later. Like it was going to renew before this got to me, which really bothered me. So I went ahead and canceled this one. And if I like it, I will resubscribe. More of this. Oh, look, now she's at a piano. No, she's not. Now she's sitting at like an old fashioned writing desk. This compelling century spanning novel. Nah. Um, the other one is Swinging on a Star. It says it is Weddings by Bella, book two. And the main character is Bella. So, I don't like reading books out of order, especially if it's not a standalone. Like, this one is about her, I'm assuming. It's called Weddings by Bella, and it says her name is Bella, so... Mm. Bookcase Club was the most expensive. This cost me $14.99 for two books. This boils down to, like, $7.50 a book. Literary Dream Crate, $10. That's $5 a book, so that's price-wise middle of the road. I got a Daniel Steele novel and the sequel to a book, and it took the longest to get here. The first one we did, Used Books Monthly, is actually my favorite here. Despite the fact that they sent me two library copies, which I'm not happy, blah, blah, which I'm, eh, and they sent me the 16th book in a series. I think one of the reasons that Used Book Monthly is the best is the fact that they let me customize what I wanted a lot more. The other two were just like, you can pick romance, and that's kind of the only customization that you got. So it was up to them to just pick two random romance novels. Whereas here, you can tell that they actually took my interest into consideration. We have a fantasy novel, a paranormal romance novel, a cozy mystery, and then I guess this is maybe a paranormal romance? I don't know. And even though they did send me library copies and the 16th volume of a book, especially for the price, you get four books for $12 and that includes shipping. That boils down to like $3 a book. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and maybe consider checking one of these out. <laughs> I'm probably going to cancel all but used books monthly. My subscription already renewed for used books monthly, so I'm gonna get another month and I'll probably open it on camera. I already canceled the literary crate joy box or whatever. And the other one, honestly overpriced in my opinion, you're paying for that really cute box and the really cute tissue paper. There are like and subscribe buttons if your finger wants to click on some stuff. <laughs> if you know of any other book subscription boxes, not the ones that are like full of fan art and tea and candles, I don't need that crap in my life. I want books. So if you know of any that are like used books subscriptions or whatever, let me know. Hey, hey, hey.